Hello there, Genshin Impact 4.3 is almost close to us. And we also know version 4.3 banners, so let's talk about the releasing characters. When we talk about banners the most, important thing is Prima Gems. So F2P players need to decide which character is worth for their Prima Gems. Let's talk about Navia, there is no practical information about her. But let's see what we know about her, and her kits. Navia new Geo character, Navia is a Geo character and a 5 star unit. She is the first 5 star Geo character since, Arataki Ito, released nearly 2 years ago. Navia is likely to be an on-field Geo DPS unit, relying on the Crystallize reaction. Her elemental skill consumes Crystallized, Shrapnel for Geo damage, and her elemental, Burst summons cannons for AoE Geo damage. Navia's damage is said to be comparable to other DPS units in the game. She doesn't require a dedicated support unit, and is versatile in team compositions. To be honest I will suggest you all to wait. After her release check out some reviews, then it's on you. Now let's talk about our Electro Queen Raiden Shogun. Best support character provides massive energy to the party as a battery, deals substantial AoE damage to opponents, extremely good at C0, performs well even at Constellation 0, without feeling restricted. Flexible team compositions, unique kit allows for versatility in team, composition, can be replaced between support and DPS. Unique playstyle, on field damage dealer providing energy to the entire party. Free to play friendly, does not require heavy investment, making her viable for free to play F2P players. Raiden Shogun already has her best in slot, artifact set, emblem of severed fates, and several excellent F2P for star weapons. If you don't have Raiden Shogun, then I will suggest you go for her, she is best. Let's see why to pull for Yoimiya. F2P friendly, several for star bows, such as Rust, Hamayumi, etc. work well with Yoimiya, these bows, especially the craftable ones. Yoimiya's optimal teammates are for star, characters, making her a budget-friendly option. Good single target damage with limited investment. Yoimiya is a solid choice for players lacking other strong single target damage dealers. Easy to use on mobile devices. Yoimiya's simple playstyle makes her effective even for casual gamers on mobile devices. Good long range capabilities. Yoimiya stands out among BOW users for her focus on normal attacks, providing excellent long range capabilities. To be honest, she is a good single target DPS, so if you want her, then you can. The Cryo Queen Ayaka, one of the best Cryo DPS. Unique sprint and cryo application, Ayaka has a distinctive alternative sprint, allowing her to travel on water and apply cryo to enemies upon exiting the sprint. Elemental advantage, as a cryo damage dealer, Ayaka is strong against electro, hydro, and pyro enemies. Versatile playstyle and composition, Ayaka has a simple playstyle with short, Cast times, making her suitable for quick, swap playstyles. Free to play friendly, Ayaka benefits from the Blizzard Strayer, artifact set, allowing players to focus on crit. Damage, Ayaka's F2P friendly build includes, the craftable weapon Amanoma Kaguchi. Huge burst potential, Ayaka's main sources of damage are, charged attacks and her elemental burst, her elemental burst continuously deals significant cryo damage before exploding for additional AoE damage. Her cryo application is one of the best in the game. If you have Raiden then she is a must. In the end, everything depends on your choice and playstyle. Go for the character you like and enjoy the game. Let me know in the comments which one you are wishing for.